Guys, we booked the venue. Literally, guys, when I tell you, I've been looking for this for like three months. And, and eight-year-old Charles. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Haywon, and I usually do fashion and lifestyle videos, but due to recent circumstances, we're doing updated life video. We are in the midst of wedding planning, and I'm just gonna put it out there. We have secured a venue, we've secured a date, and we're talking all things venue and venue tours. And so if you're interested in wedding related videos or you're planning your own, I'm gonna talk you through some of the pros and cons, what we thought about when we went with some places versus others, um, and why we picked the venue that we picked, okay? So there were actually just three main venues that I liked and I used a few wedding websites to kind of narrow it down. I already knew what our vibe was going to be. I knew the kind of style of venue that I really liked. Um, and for Miles, he did not care as long as it was in one of two places and that was Florida and North Carolina and both places where a lot of Miles' family is. Um, and today we're just talking about the American ceremony, the American wedding and that's because the Ethiopian wedding, I am planning that with my mom and we haven't even yet started on that. And we couldn't move on that until we secured the American venue because if you're Ethiopian, you know that you don't plan a year in advance. You kind of, you can plan six months out and still be good if you're planning a wedding in Ethiopia. Whereas in America, you have to plan. I mean, like people have two year engagement. People take two years to like plan their wedding here because people book so far in advance and if you're a bride-to-be, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. People have told me this, and I wish I booked it even beforehand. If you just got proposed to yesterday, first thing you do is find a venue that you guys like, and that's within your budget immediately, or at least start looking immediately, okay? This is not a drill, but everybody and your mom are getting engaged. Do you hear me? <laughs> like, it is not a drill. So secure your venue ASAP. That's the first thing I would tell you guys. So like I was saying, we had one of two states that we were going to do it in here in the u.s and now that we have a date secured for the u.s we are now planning on travels getting paperwork together you guys know i'm an international here so it's a lot of documentation that i need to get together to be able to be ready a year from now yeah so there's a lot of like like little logistical things that we can prepare now that we know we have an end date and we can also set the ethiopian wedding date and oh, i'm so excited because i think the ethiopian wedding date guys oh my god oh lord make it happen it is gonna be in Ethiopia in one of the best times. Okay, the best time. I'm trying not to ruin too much for you guys and even for the people coming to the wedding. I wanna leave a little bit of mystery and I want them to actually enjoy the day so I want it to be an experience for them so I'm not, I'm trying not to put all my business out there yet. Oh my God, I've been rambling for so long and the video hasn't even started yet. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna show you the places that we toured in North Carolina and the ones we considered in Florida and let's just start with the Florida one because I'll tell you right now, the wedding is not going to be in Florida. And the reason why is because the place that we saw was called Tuscan Rose. It was a vineyard and it had the most beautiful, beautiful building. Like our vibe is just living life, you know? And I feel like, <laughs> and the venue that we wanted to pick, we wanted it to be like an experience and not just a venue. And one of the places that we really loved um, was T Tuscan Rose. And the reason why is because, I mean, look at it. It literally looks like, first of all, um, it's on a vineyard. So it's really beautiful. You can go pick grapes. Like that's what we did when we went to a friend of ours, um, my friend's wedding. Uh, it was in a vineyard and literally Miles and I were just like frolicking in between the vines. Like it was so cute, such an experience, so beautiful during sunset and you can have wine that is made in house. So whole experience, whole shebang, right? And not to mention this venue is absolutely stunning. Like I loved the cypress tree. I think they're called cypress trees. If you guys watched my Sedona vlog, I, that is one of the things that I've like fell in love with Sedona is it just felt so, I don't know, something about it is just so regal. It just takes your breath away. And I just loved it. Loved the greenery and the natural elements. If you guys watch my house tour, you guys know I'm not super into florals. I really just love greenery. So yeah, this was one of the places that we considered. So the pros of this place was obviously how stunning it was. 
and also the fact that it was in Florida, so close to Miles' family, and then whoever was coming from my side of the family, it was gonna be almost like a giant family vacation in Florida, you know? Miles and I were thinking if we did it in Florida, we're gonna get there a week ahead and just basically like just have the time of our lives, beach days, yacht days, like you name it. It was just gonna be one giant vacation and then even after, I've like Miles and his dad and all the boys go golfing and like, you know, it was, it was gonna be such a fun experience, but the cons as to why we didn't do Florida was because a large part of Miles' family are actually in North Carolina, so it didn't really make sense to have like the larger of the two be in one place and not pick that place, you know? So it just made sense that it was in North, more so in North Carolina. And to a lot of my family that's in this, like in the United States, family and family friends are residing in the DC area. So it would have been a longer, like it would have been a whole flight for them. There was no way they were gonna make that drive as opposed to in North Carolina. It is a longer drive, but you can make that drive. And if, it, if, if you wanna take a flight, it's not even like an hour long flight. Do you get what I mean? So it was just like, for the sake of our guests, it just made life a little bit easier if we were in North Carolina. So that was one of the reasons why we didn't go with this place. But here is our other choice. Um, and we also didn't go with this one, but we toured it anyways. And it was like literally this close, like, this close to going with it. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. So here are the rental rates. Um, for 13 hours of access, private access to the property, your yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the rental rates range from 5,000 to 8,500, depending on the date. Um, want to add like drinks, alcohol, if we want to have an open bar versus just serving beer and wine. Honestly, Miles is still, still kind of like in love with this place, um, but there were two main things why we wanted to go to this place. One is that it's much closer to the city. It's great so that, you know, everybody, there's like hotels really close by for guests, so it'll be easier to do hotel blocks. It was very modern, like the feel was like really modern, beautiful, like clean, uh, just gorgeous, very aesthetic, right? They really thought about that. And it's a newer venue, so um, I think that's why everything looked so beautiful and clean and white and everything. And the people there are so amazing. They were so flexible. They were, they were just basically like giving us a million and one ways that they could make the space whatever we wanted, which was so great. So, And the only reason why we didn't go with this place, um, for me, for me, is I felt like there were a lot of things adding up. Like although the venue was more affordable, there were a lot of things outside of that like, that you would need to do to like get the vision to come to life, if you get what I mean. Like the decor would literally have to be on point and that would take a lot of chunk of the money, um, as well as like the alcohol had to go through them but they had a really high alcohol bill, which, so it was gonna cost the same as any other venue. Um, really, honestly, we were willing to forego it all because we really loved the customer service and the people, they were so great. Um, but yeah, so this last place is actually the venue that we picked. Um, as soon as I saw this venue, honestly, I was in love with it. Beautiful, so gorgeous, literally the vision I had it was this place and I like was showing like my close friends and my family and like even just talking about it, I was getting so excited about it. So in my heart, I was like, I think this is the place but I just want confirmation from everybody else. Miles' sister who lives nearby went to see it and she loved it and she convinced me to go and check it out before I made any down payments or anything. And you guys are also gonna see my reaction after handing over a very hefty check and confirming our venue. All right guys, I'm about to make a very, very impulsive decision and make a six hour drive to go see the wedding venue today. I am gonna go today and Miles unfortunately can't come with me because he has to work and I think I'm gonna just take videos, FaceTime him while I'm there and if he loves it, he loves it. Also for Miles, it's more so like budgeting and not so much like he doesn't really care about aesthetics like that. You guys know he's more functional than fashion. This is the outfit for today. I'm struggling a little bit 
because I want to go a little bit more casual because like I said, I'm going to be going to a Zara, probably at the mall, um, and then also checking out wedding venues. So I want to wear something white just to be cute and festive, but also keep it casual. So I'm wearing this white crop top. This one is actually a one, one that I got from Shein. Oh my God, you guys can see the blankets in the back. It's because we were watching a movie last night. So we were just chilling out here. Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing this white crop top and this my white, my new white platform um, Converse and no store had them and online it was like $150 which for Converse I'm so sorry but like you are not Jordans like I don't know who you thought you were but you're not that girl okay so <laughs> I was like I'm not paying that so luckily I just went to the outlet one day and they were there and they were less than $70 so I was like okay it was meant to be so I'm wearing these and they're very comfy I feel like they have some sort of like memory form of something in them because they're very, very comfy, and I'm wearing my skirt from Zara. I got this last summer from Zara, and it's so cute. I feel like that's the thing with Zara. They're so ahead of their time when it comes to fashion that you can wear it, and it's good quality, and you can have it for, like, a longer period of time, I think. Um, so that's the outfit. And I'm going to be wearing these for my shades because, I mean, I'm going to be driving the whole way, so I don't need it to be, like, too dark out. And my purse is gonna be this kind of like mustardy yellow one because it'll play off of the yellow on the skirt but not be too matchy matchy and then obviously this like the brown bit right here it's very like dressy but then the shoes keep it nice and casual and the fact that it's a crop top and slightly collared i don't know it works when it's all together at first i was doubting it but then it came together okay anyways <laughs> i'm spending way too much time here i gotta go i have to drive and i'll see you guys when i get there to know this but some of you might know that music goes on to play a huge part in Charles Manson, his cult. Then arrive at your destination. Okay, this is the front door. <gasps> Beautiful outside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice beautiful <laughs> oh my god and the like the just the outdoors in the background I know that's one of my favorite back to that back field there stunning it is not a good day to be wearing long sleeves even if it's like half a shirt let me blast this AC but guys we booked the venue ah! oh, it's so hot outside but yeah gore just literally does not look like we're in the middle of North Carolina. It looks like it should be somewhere else. I don't know. It's so beautiful. So now that you guys have seen it, I know this video is very long, but it's a very exciting process. So, and for the girls that are here, we're here for this, okay? And I'm really trying not to make like wedding planning my personality, but it's getting really hard, okay? <laughs> But in any, way, in any case, I'm going to tell you guys what are some pros and cons with the place that we did pick because obviously no place and no certain circumstances is perfect. Um, and I'm really sorry that I won't be able to show you guys the place, but when we do some of our... As we get closer to the wedding date, um, we're going to be doing more tours. Uh, if we get a day of coordinator or a wedding planner, we're going to be going there more often. So just stay tuned in the vlogs because we'll show little sneak peeks here and there. But as for today, until we have our wedding invites out and everything, I don't want to really ruin the surprise for people. And if you're from the area, you might already know. You you might already know the place, okay? So just, if you put a, just, you know, just. The pros of this place, obviously, is it literally is everything that I wanted in a wedding venue. It is perfect. One of the cons is that their vendor list is really strict. So for me, I want to have Ethiopian food at the wedding, but unfortunately because they have kind of like a closed catering list we kind of have to pick off whatever catering list caterers they have on there and i don't necessarily see an ethiopian caterer on there so i'm gonna have to really kind of find a way to work around that see if any of the caterers are willing to make an exception for their list or you know if they're willing to outsource but again that's a problem for a different day but the pros of that too is that there's not a lot of guesswork you know you kind of have like a finite, finite, finite list of vendors that you can go off of and not have to worry about, oh my God, like 
am I gonna like this or like that or whatever, you know? So um, those are some things that are coming up and I'm gonna do a proper wedding planning vlog where I like sit down and actually plan out the ceremony, the order of events, um, picking my wedding planners, picking photographers, all that. We'll, we'll talk about that in a proper wedding planning vlog. But in any case, these aren't like cons enough for me to not love the place. The place is absolutely stunning, very modern, but still very vintage-y. Um, it, it like really, it's set, it solidified the vibe. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this wedding planning videos or these wedding related videos. I know the few of them that I have put out on my channel have done really well, which means that either you guys are really interested in seeing me plan out this wedding or it means that there's a lot more of you guys that are also planning out your wedding which I think is more of the case but I'm so excited for us thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video which I'm pretty sure is going to be a haul video and guys I have a massive announcement and a giveaway attached to that announcement so just stay tuned you definitely want to be subscribed if you're not subscribed that is all I have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one Bye guys! That's my crew